So I have an idea to help you identify what you've assigned to your students in first in math. And by assigned, I mean suggest content. So the first is I've created these documents. I have one for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and fractions that um, is all of the like codes that you get when you suggest content. And so my suggestion is I'm going to give you this file. I would make a copy so this is, becomes like yours. So I'm going to say ecovals, fem, suggest content. All right, make a copy. My thought is, is leave the top half of what I provided alone because that's what you're going to kind of copy and paste. I would hit enter a few times and I'm going to do so 11, 16, 22. I'm going to do headings so that I can quickly access um, my what I assigned on the different days. And so now I can say on the 16th, this is what I suggested. I keep using the word assigned. This is what I suggested to my students in their mailbox. So I'm going to highlight all of the bracket plus the links. And I can include assessment if I want, because I'm going to say this is what our assessment is that you're doing. And then I'm going to choose a few things that I definitely want them doing. So I want them to do very important facts. Now I'm big on spaces so that it's easy for the kids to click on the right link. And then let's say, mm, let's be a little bit engaging. Let's do the first 20. And you can do a lot more than I am including. And I'm the person that always numbers things so the kids know what should I be doing first, second, and third. Now, something I learned is the bracket, I can edit that. So some of these, the just the facts, I believe originally was like 10 by 10, whole numbers, and then I got rid of all of that because the other thing is, is you have only so many characters. I believe it's 1,024 characters that can be sent to your students. I'm going to actually get rid of assessment this time. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this, control C to copy. I'm going to go to first in math. I'm going to click on suggest content. I'm not selecting anything here. I'm just going to, I'm not copying anything to clipboard because I already did when I clicked control C. So I'm going to go to my team assessment page. I have all of my students selected. I am only going to send this to certain students. Mm, here we go. I'm going to click on the envelope. You can also select just all of your students. I have some students that their parents are having them use this so the parents can learn about the program. And um, I don't want them to get scared by what I assigned. And then I click in that first text box. I'm going to do control V to paste. And so now here is what it looks like. It's nicely spaced. It's numbered. So see, I have a character limit. So that's why I was really editing um, the words or the text that was in the brackets. When I'm ready, I click send message. And this is the part that I really love about um, this new doc. If you date it on when you assign certain things, just to kind of keep things different for the kids, is when I want to model something for my kids, since the envelope for the teachers right now does not show what I just assigned like it did seven months ago. I can just click on the link here in my Google Doc. So this is like your version of your envelope. This Google Doc is your envelope and it opens it up and I can model for my students if I'm introducing a new game. So um, just something that I think may help you identify what have I assigned to my kids as well as you can kind of play with the formatting of what the text will say. Just be sure to include the link. 
like they have here. Um, if it is not blue down below when I'm suggesting content, so if I go back to my assessment page and I just click the envelope, if it is not blue here, it's not going to be a live link. So just make sure that you keep that link as is. You can only edit what is inside those brackets. So let me know your thoughts if this is something that you can see using and let me know if you have any questions. Have a good one.